first landed on the moon. He said, one small step for man. I would have just said, oh my God, I'm on the moon. This is going to be day one of my cleaning strike until my husband appreciates all the cleaning I do. I did clean the kitchen last night, so we are starting off with one dirty pan and a trash can that is completely full and needs to go out. Life could be a dream, life could be a dream, do 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 shaboom. Life could be a dream, if I could take you up in paradise up above, if you would tell me I'm the... So a couple videos ago, I cleaned out our hall closet, and while I was doing that, I found this guy here. I tested the leg, he still works, I cleaned it, and then I waited until someone went to the grocery store again and got M&M's. I filled up the seats, I spilled some, but it's okay, I got them. PS, one bag fits perfectly. And I don't know, it's just so nice to see this again. Oh, yes, oh, oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh, this is stunk. This is my Today, my husband and I came to clean my sister's house for free. She just lost her dog that has been with her for the past 16 years. She is crushed, so I said that I would come and help her get rid of his things. That's him right there. That's Lucas. He has been a partner, a friend, a child for my sister, and I am so sorry for your loss, sis. So we came, cleaned her house, helped her out a little bit, and this is the end result. How pretty! This is not a super happy how pretty, but I think you understand why. I also brought her flowers. When you're done squeezing the juice out of limes, you probably throw them out. Don't throw them out. Instead, what you want to do is slice them up, put them in a spray bottle, add a half a cup of white vinegar, A teaspoon of salt, a little bit of dish soap, and fill up the rest with water. Shake it up, and pull homemade chemical-free citrusy cleaning spray. This thing works amazing and leaves your house smelling like limes. So don't throw out your peels and don't buy those sprays that contain toxic chemicals. Just make your own. So this laptop isn't that dirty, but it's for a friend. So I figure I'll just make it pristine for him. Some of that good stuff. Now to pick the shit out of the edges. And that's one clean old laptop.
Okay, didn't change the results. I walked in front of them. S3, that is how clean the floor came. I4-3, left some coffee grounds. Bissell Crosswave, the floor was still dirty. All of these machines were cleaned. All of them got the same amount of passes. All of them got the same speed. All of them had the same amount of crud. If you have kids, dogs, a genuinely messy house, S3. In my last video, I siphoned the gas and added a fuel system cleaner, but the engine still sounded pretty rough. So today I removed the storage compartment, which is pretty much the only storage in the vehicle. And I found myself a nice pool of standing water. I like to remove things and take things apart because it makes me look like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. So I removed this cover and it was a lot worse than I thought. So I got to work cleaning, got in there with my shop vac and even with a toothbrush and scrubbed it clean. I've been holding off on working on the engine because I don't have a place in my garage to work on it and keep it out of the elements. So I'm either going to have to clean the garage or seek some professional help. But for now, I drilled a new hole for the seats and I pulled up the carpet and thankfully there was no real rust damage, there was just a little discoloration. And now it's all looking nice and clean, tune in for part 8. Going on over there. Part two of the PS4 cleaning. I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleaning in this video. I'm blowing out the uh, the heat sink right there. Now the fans. Uh, blowing out all the plastic. I'm gonna clean all of the plastic and all of the metal here before I put it all back together. Oh, like this video if you want to see it all put back together. Uh, that's the power supply. I'm blowing out here now. Blow, 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 blow. And then I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol on a paintbrush and just really scrub in those little hard to get areas. Use the microfiber to clean it all up and boom, pretty clean, right? Uh, yeah, cleaned that power supply. I'm cleaning all these nooks and crannies, little PS4 logos clean, clean that. Um, uh, uh, I cleaned out all the thermal paste here. You'll see that pretty soon, thermal paste there. I'm they're moving the thermal pads, more thermal paste on the CPU itself, and then thermal pads hi guys so today i got the honor of cleaning this nasty ass restroom but let me tell you how it got this dirty many of you know i live in a household with 14 people we have a total of three restrooms this restroom is specifically shared by five people but it's also the restroom that everybody uses when the other ones are occupied if the other ones are occupied they use this one whether it's to shower pee poop whatever so it's technically used by about 12 people it is not my job to clean this. Everybody has their chores. But for some reason, I always end up doing it. This time, I decided to wait a month to see if anybody else would bother cleaning it. 
oh if somebody could tell me how to take those hard water marks off that that would be appreciated anyways a month and a half later and nobody has cleaned it so here i am cleaning this freaking restroom i don't leave any of my belongings in here because whatever you leave in here will disappear razors toothbrushes towels shampoos body wash all of it will disappear i gagged so many times while cleaning this restroom but an hour and a half later and i freaking cleaned it but trust me it won't last